Hey everybody, we finally made it to dynamic memory. Dynamic memory is memory that is allocated after the program is already compiled and running. To allocate dynamic memory, we use this new keyword, it's an operator. It allows us to allocate memory in the heap, rather than the stack. It's useful when we don't know how much memory we'll need. It makes our programs more flexible, especially when accepting user input, because we have no idea what the user is going to type in. Here's an example. We'll start with a basic integer variable, but we'll allocate memory in the heap rather than the stack by using that new keyword. I'll create a pointer. int dereference operator p num. Now it's good practice when you declare a pointer, but don't assign it right away, to give it a value of null, meaning no value. To allocate memory in the heap rather than the stack, I'll take my pointer, set this equal to, use the new operator, then a data type. I'll use up enough space in the heap for one integer. The new operator will return an address. We're storing that address within pnum because it's a pointer. It's pointing to a memory location where we're going to store an integer. Later on in your program, whenever you would like to store a value, we can use the dereference operator, our pointer, then assign some value. Like 21, I don't know. Just for fun, I'm going to display the address that's stored within the pointer. Address p num, then I'll add a new line, as well as the value. Value dereference operator p num. Our pointer is storing this address, and at this address in the heap, that address contains this value, 21. Now it's very good practice, if not expected, whenever you use the new operator, You'll also want to use the delete operator when you're no longer using that memory space. So at the end of this program, or earlier if you choose, we will delete our pointer. Delete pnum. We're freeing up the memory at this address. If you don't, you may cause a memory leak, and it's best to avoid that. Whenever you use the new operator, you probably should be using the delete operator someplace within your program. Here's another example. We're going to dynamically create an array. Let's create an array of grades. Char, then we'll need a pointer, dereference operator, p grades. Set this equal to null, if we're not going to assign this pointer right away. Then to dynamically create an array, we will take our pointer, set this equal to new, the data type, char. If this is an array, we add a set of straight brackets. Within the straight brackets, we will list a size. If I have five grades to enter in, I would type in five. But if we already know the size of the array before we even run the program, we might as well do that normally, like create a normal array. There's no point to allocating memory dynamically. We would want to do that when we don't know what the size is going to be. So I propose we ask for some user input. Let's say int size. We'll create a prompt. Standard output how many grades to enter in. Standard input size will dynamically allocate enough memory in the heap depending on how many grades the user has to enter in. I'll just create a for loop so that we will ask the user to enter in some grades. Int i equals zero. I will continue this as long as i is less than size. Increment i by one. Standard output, enter grade number i plus 1, because i will be 0 to begin with. And I'm just going to add colon space afterwards. Standard input p grades, that's our pointer. Now we can either add plus i, or use those straight brackets at index of i, either way. Let's display all of the grades. Int i equals zero. i is less than size. i plus plus. Standard output p grades at index of i. I'll separate each with the space. And remember, if we no longer need this array, we should delete it to prevent a memory leak. If we have to delete an array, we'll add a set of straight brackets after delete, then our pointer p grades and let's try it how many grades to enter in 
So we don't know what the user is going to type. Let's say six grades. Enter grade one, A, B, C, D, F, A. And here are the grades. So that's why dynamic memory is useful. It's memory that is allocated after the program is already compiled and running. We use the new operator to allocate memory in the heap rather than the stack. It's useful when we don't know how much memory we will need. It makes our programs more flexible, especially when accepting user input. So that is an introduction to dynamic memory. We'll have more practice with this in the future, so don't worry. If you would like a copy of the code that we worked on, I'll post that in the comments section down below. And well, yeah, that's an introduction to dynamic memory in C++.